What is up, my buttery biscuits? In today's video, we're going to be talking about Jeffree Star and Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is kind of a follow-up video to the um, whole Jeffree Star Cosmetics Shane Dawson collaboration being sold in Nordstrom's rack. You guys know I did a full video on that. I was like shook about the prices. I was like, oh my gosh, this stuff is selling for so cheap. Um, within his video that he actually posted today, he actually talked about Kat Von D as well too, because I know a lot of people were calling him a hypocrite that before in the past, he was, you know, making jabs at um, KVD or Kat Von D Cosmetics. So Y'all, I got the name so twisted on that. I'm just like, oh my God, I don't even know what to call it anymore. But about her brand being sold in um, TJ Maxx and like Marshalls and stuff like that, which I just really never understood. Like, honestly, y'all, maybe because I'm just broke, I just don't get it. Like, I really do love discounted makeup. Y'all know, like, literally, okay, within the next couple days, I already filmed my haul video. And I literally even mentioned within that video, I'm like, I literally never buy makeup unless I get it discounted. I'm just like, oh, you know, it's like very, very rare for me to buy something that is not discounted. I feel like every brand pretty much now has a little bit of a discount. Like, I feel like with Ulta, 21 Days of Beauty, Naming you guys know like oh my gosh I literally always rave about it so I never really understood the whole like condescending tone of talking trash about makeup brands being sold in like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, things like that. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't really get it. I think that it's a cool opportunity for people who can't afford the like full pri retail price of it to actually get it. You get me? And I don't, I don't know, but you know, Jeffree Star is bougie. So I feel like that's obviously why he made that joke, but I guess it's a little bit eye opening to him that now his brand is being sold there, but we'll get into the details of it because he did mention why it was being sold in there. And then we'll talk about the whole Kat Von D situation as well too. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, I will do another like recap of the whole Morphe dropping Jeffree Star thing. Um, I feel like I have read those statements so much. I should like literally know them like by heart by now, but I don't, but I'm going to read them for context that way in case you guys are new to this or are following up on on it. I'll read those so that way you guys have a little bit of context about the whole Morphe and Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Uh, so if you guys are interested in that, of course, go to keep on watching. If y'all are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Make sure you guys, uh, oh my gosh, y'all recently, I have been forgetting what I always say. Just give this video a thumbs up, okay? Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all. So let me just go ahead and start this off by reading the Morphe Brushes um, Twitter account. This was posted on July 10th, 2020. So over a year ago now, um, this is what they said. And I do apologize if you guys have like followed up on this. I just always feel like it's necessary to read this for context that way everybody knows you know because I know there's a lot of people who don't know about the drama you get me anyway so this is what it says right here today we've made the decision to cease all commercial activity related to Jeffree Star and affiliated products we expect this to conclude within the coming weeks as we look to the future we will continue to share updates on what lies ahead for the Morphe brand and then of course you know Jeffree Star Cosmetics made a statement about this everybody was outraged obviously because he's just he has a horrible past but then he was still being caught up in so much drama you know what I'm saying so it's just kind of like everyone was going at Morphe like you guys need to drop him you know anyways um this is what Jeffree Star Cosmetics had said in response to that hey Star family we are shocked and extremely saddened by the decision of our former retail partner Morphe Brushes on parting ways with our brand and Jeffree over the past five years we've accomplished amazing things together and released iconic products we are proud of everything we've accomplished with them what's next we have uh oh little we have an incredible oh, oh my gosh I cannot we have a uh incredible remainder of 2020 planned and are excited to share our new products with you and our partners around the world. We know our customers will continue to create, inspire, and push the boundaries of our art. Love you all so much, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So obviously everybody was like really shook about this because um, we got to see within the Shane Dawson docu-series with Jeffree Star that Morphe was actually their biggest um, client. You know, they purchased the most units from Jeffree Star Cosmetics to sell within Morphe websites and Morphe stores throughout the whole entire world, you know? Um, so that was a big shock, obviously. But now here, Jeffree Star Cosmetics is being sold inside Nordstrom's rack. And I feel like this is just an eye-opening experience to Jeffrey because like I had mentioned and I'll go ahead and play a little clip in a bit where he was talking about the uh, shade and light palette being inside TJ Maxx and obviously he was saying it in a condescending way but I, like I say y'all I just uh, y'all I don't I just don't get it like I just kind of feel like you know what I'm saying it's better for you know the makeup to not be wasted and then be discounted you know what I'm saying so that way people can actually purchase it rather than just throwing it away it's so wasteful so I never really understood it but I actually did just watch um uh the fool's coverage of uh, the fool's coverage fool's coverage with Laura Lee and many MUA and they talked about the same thing too that Laura Lee's brand was being sold in uh, TJ Maxx, you know? And I'm just kind of like, y'all, so many brands are sold in there. They have Mac in there now. They have Too Faced. I was really tripped out about the Mac thing. If you guys are like really big on Mac, then you guys would know back in the day, there was um, the only place that would sell discounted Mac products, which was the cosmetic company outlet. Those were literally the only places that you can get a discount on Mac. But obviously things have changed now. I feel like there's just such an oversaturation of product and obviously Mac being at a higher price point, a lot of people found duplicates for a more affordable price. So obviously now 
they're sold inside Nordstrom's Rack, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all that good stuff. So uh, I don't know, y'all. Once again, I'm just kind of like, you know what? Me like growing up broke and being broke, like I totally like the fact that there is a place to get discounted makeup. I had mentioned this before. There's one highlight that I have literally from when I was 18 years old. It's called Perfect Topping from MAC. It was like my second MAC product and I thought it was so cool that I got it discounted at the cosmetic company outlet. I literally used to go there like every single week because I was like, oh, they're going to get new stuff and they would get all the like, you know, things that wouldn't sell inside the MAC store and they would get it there. And it was so exciting, you know, and I feel that way now. I literally go on hunts with my mom to like TJ Maxx to look for discounted makeup, you know. I'm going to be honest though, with Nordstrom's Rack, I don't really feel like I find too many good deals there. I feel like like Nordstrom's Rack is a little bit more bougie and I feel like uh, TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross like you can find really good stuff there for more affordable prices I feel like they give better uh, discounts but anyways um, as you guys can see right here these are the products that were actually listed on Nordstrom's Rack um, so I'm gonna go ahead and play a clip right now if you guys can see of uh, Jeffree Star talking about the Kat Von D situation I know there is a very old clip of me which we'll try to find right now where I go to TJ Maxx uh, years ago and I did throw some shade at Kat Von D let's roll it now I've heard a few rumors from some friends of mine that TJ Maxx is where all my ex-friends go to die. So we're gonna have to investigate. Um, what's over here? <gasps> oh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'll be over here. Now listen, I was very emotional. Uh, looking back at that, I'm like, oh my God, like why would I ever talk like that? But I was being sarcastic. We all know I have a crazy personality. But I was also hurt that my best friend of 10 years backstabbed me in front of the internet. Um, it was awful at the time and I know I had a, I did a response video and there was all this drama and it was all over the news and it's like, looking back, that was awful. That was actually awful. For someone you love and care about to just stick the knife in was terrible. So not to drag out old wounds, but I do think we need some context. So um, I'm embarrassed that I said that, um, honestly. Now, now that I'm seven years in the game, when brands have overstock, it ends up in stores because someone, whoever carries it or the brand itself, will sell it to Nordstrom, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, you know, obviously you guys know about discount makeup. So as you guys can see from right there, he opens up and says, you know what, he was really hurt about the situation that she was once upon a time his best friend and she felt very backstabbed by him. So I could understand why he made that comment and was trying to be a little bit shady. Obviously he got a whole lot of backlash for it because everyone's like, hey, what's wrong with discounted makeup? You know what I'm saying? But I get it when he explains it and he's like upfront about it. I'm like, okay, like honestly, let's keep it real. If ever our friends have done us dirty, like don't we throw a little bit of shade? Cause I know I have, I sure have, I, I, I've sure posted some things, you know what I'm saying? So I totally understand where he's coming from in that aspect. He he then obviously goes on to say why his products are being sold inside Nordstrom's rack. Uh, he was making it like a big deal on social media at first that Shane Dawson was going to be in there, but it was literally just a FaceTime call. So I was like, okay, no, like he was literally in the video for like 10 seconds. Um, anyways, though, he goes on to say that obviously more, more, more she, Morphe has purchased a whole huge amount of Jeffree Star cosmetics and they have all of this inventory that they need to push out. And it just leads me to believe, I mean, it leads me to believe, it leads me to wonder what like amount of products did they purchased because y'all they have like discounted his products heavily on Morphe's website I did a video about that as well too but then to see them still struggling to sell these products that they're selling them to Nordstrom's Rack and like other discounted places it's kind of a trip to me I'm just like oh my gosh like how many products were they sitting on you know um this is the thing right here a lot of people were saying oh my gosh is Jeffree Star obviously selling it there um they don't have any type of affiliation as soon as that product is sold that's literally Morphe's product they bought it so they can sell it to wherever like if they want to sell it to like Goodwill or if they want to sell it to TJ Maxx that's um, fully you know up to them to do and Jeffree Star Cosmetics won't have a say in it because they already purchased those products I do apologize for the construction going on y'all my neighbor oh my gosh my neighbor is always working on his house or like doing something I'm just like oh Anyways, y'all, that wraps it up for this video right here. Um, I just wanted to do an update on this because obviously I was following this story and then following the whole Nordstrom's rack, like discounted Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Shane Dawson. Um, I was just really tripped out about that, to be honest with you, because if you guys don't remember, like trying to purchase that was like the hardest thing to do. Like literally, I remember taking hours to purchase that collaboration because you guys know I purchased the Conspiracy palette and I did a review on it and everything. And it literally took me, I want to say like four hours to buy that palette because it literally just kept on crashing, kept on crashing. The site was just so messed up and then it was taking so long for restocks to come in so like now all of a sudden that went from like the hottest 
like talked about makeup collaboration honestly probably on like makeup history let's keep it real like literally millions of people were trying to buy that and i specifically remember um i drove by the cerritos mall and there was literally a line into the parking lot i was like oh my gosh like i've never seen it like that for a makeup collaboration you know like i mentioned before with mac when i worked there like everyone would go crazy over the disney collections and we did have a line like out the door but it wasn't like how it was with the um jeffree star and shane dawson collaboration so it just kind of really tripped me out that it was like obviously now being discounted like nobody's buying it anymore you know what i mean anyways y'all that wraps it up for this video make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout